Top of the morning to you. My name is Rachel and I'm 21 years old. I live in Ireland with my best friend Bethany. I have suffered a rare condition. It's super embarrassing to tell, but here goes. But just before I go on, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so that you won't miss an upload from us. You see, I have PGAD, which stands for Persistent Genital Arousal Disorder. What? It's a disease that only happens to 200 women around the world. But sadly, I am one of them. Ugh. It started two years ago. My roommate Bethany woke me up to get ready, so I got up and went to bed with you. I had an electrical toothbrush that vibrates, so when I turned it on, I moaned. I was so lost as to what the heck happened. Bethany heard it and checked on me. I pressed it again and moaned a second time. What the fuck? This definitely wasn't normal. So she quickly called 911 and we left. We got to the hospital some minutes after, and the doctor came back with the results. He said that I had PGAD. I couldn't believe it! How could this happen? He also told me that my type was such that I'd react to non-sexual vibrating objects. Can you imagine that? I had to avoid any vibrating objects that came near me for the rest of my life. Ugh. Living with PGAD was literal hell. At college, I was doing a test when my pencil snapped. I got up to sharpen it, but unfortunately for me, that was a huge mistake. Because the vibration of the pencil sharpener aroused me in such a way that caused me to moan so loudly that the whole class could hear it. I got grounded thereafter. Now, I only use small pencil sharpeners that don't turn me on as much, just in case. <laughs> Later that day, I was at the mall with Bethany. A guy with a tie wanted us to try a massage chair. So, of course, my rare condition... I politely declined because it had what I was trying to avoid, but he insisted and pushed me on it. I started moaning like crazy. Bethany quickly ran and got me out. She yelled at him for pushing me on it. Things even got worse when I was on a date with my boyfriend, Jack. I had to tell him about my condition, and when I did, he understood. We were ordering food, and I needed to use the restroom, so I left and then immediately realized that I left my phone back at the table. So I got it and put it in my pocket. I saw Jack reaching for his, so I thought he was going to call someone, but instead, he called me. My phone vibrated, and I moaned so loudly that everyone in the restaurant could hear me. Oh, it was so embarrassing. But I didn't understand. I put my phone on silent. When I checked, the phone was set to the opposite. I saw Jack laughing his ass off. I got up and slapped him. Then I told him that our relationship was over. I ran home crying. I told Bethany and she was very angry at him for what he did. Yikes! This just goes to show that some people can be cruel to you when you have a weird condition. And sometimes people can support it and always help you with it. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Let me know in the comments section and also don't forget to share, leave a like, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload from us. Bye now!